Hello everyone and welcome back! We are in Tarrant and I remember clearly I was hoping to go and kill those little rats to get my level. However, we have a locked door. I did try to ask Virgil to do something about it and that was no good so I'm really hoping... I did save, so uh, I think it was Alt. Leave that alone, stop that. Okay, sorry. No, no, guys, I, I'm kidding. We, we stop. They, they don't want me. Where is the guard, though? I mean, they did say leave that alone and stop that. Hello. Leave me be, I don't like you. Uh, that would be he dislikes me. That would be because I attacked the door. But I think my companions are still crap. No, okay. All right, all right. I don't think I want to kill a Tarrant officer just to just to get access to a few rats so I was I was hoping something would happen here but fine none of these NPCs are either downstairs or upstairs you know gave me a quest to kill the rats which is what sort of RPG is that they are rats and you're not asked to kill them I'll try to try to remember that they are rats here. Okay, all of that is done. All of that is done as in visited. We have this huge place. I don't know what that is. And then more industrial areas here. And yeah, I've, I've barely explored half of the city. This is a bit, you know, sad. But let's find out what this is. Uh, for sure, with my next playthrough, um, I am not going to get that dog so soon. I mean, I, I adore the worthless mutt, but seeing as he's level 12, he's just just OP. You there, hold up. What are you about? Uh, whose house is that? Mr. Bates, the industrialist, lives here. Wow, I need to talk to him. And what would this be regarding? I admire his work. You know, we, we did say my character is honest until, you know, she dies of being too honest. I admire his work. Uh -huh. I work for the newspaper. It is true. I, I do. I did an errand for the newspaper. So I do work for the newspaper. That's the truth. Then you should be aware of Mr. Bates' disdain for those in the journalistic trade. Good day, madam. Uh, truth was no good for me. How about you? Ugh. Damn, I blew my chances with Mr. Bates, apparently. Ah. Rubbish bin. And just as I say that, I remember that I was supposed to take the time off camera to sort out my inventory so hopefully today we're not going to find too many amazing treasures and I won't have to get too much space in my inventory oh wow I have a question no no talk get orc in trouble go away the machinery in here trouble how can I get you in trouble leave me alone you bad Okay. I don't want to insult him, so I have to go with what kind of trouble? Four man, see no work, get bad trouble, no coin, no food, meeble beat. No, or no talk to you. That's terrible. I can't believe they treat you that way. That how is. Work here. No leave, no more, need coin. It bad place for orc. You bet. Can I see the foreman? There he is. The machinery, my goodness. Hello, may I ask what your position is here? I'm the foreman around here. What can I do for you, stranger? Let us barter? Oh. Gold, gold helmet, I will never... Do you, do you buy that? Just 
give me a second guys though. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit, it's just crazy. There we go. <clears throat> you can do it Arcanum, you can do it, come back to me. There we go. Okay good. Yeah, the sound should be a bit better for you. I've, I've lowered down. I just need to remove my own earphones. All right. Um, hello, Foreman. Apprentice in repair. That's not for us. I am grateful. What for? Thank you, good sir. Thank you. What is this option to say thank you? Oh, wow. Look at that. He's loving me. Hello, my friend. Ooh, hello, foreman. Um, let us barter. Maybe now I'm gonna get better prices. Maybe now he's gonna buy my junk. Buy my shoes. No. Oh, well, he's got money that's not for sale. Money is not for sale. And me, personally, I don't know what to do with any of those. Well, at least there's this guy, and now he really, really likes me get out of here. I don't know if I should try to talk a little more with the with the orc that work in there. But I'm just glad to leave the area. It's just too loud. But we have we have someone that would be willing to buy things from us. Technological things for a good price. Now that they like us. Milligan Bone Alley. Oh, that's locked. Hmm. Do you think people can see us here? Uh, was it F? Oh, there's a guard. And there's a human city dweller. Oh, back off, people! What's, what's your deal? Stop loitering around. Jammed. Wow, jeez. Thank you for that. I jammed it, stupid me. And I quick saved on top of it. What is this place? This is the Bates Engine Factory. Okay, so we know the Bates house and we know the Bates factory. Quick about it now, I have to be on. Hello, sir. May I ask you a few questions? Come on. What is it? Uh, none of that. But thank you. This is locked and we're not going to try to do anything with it just yet. Until we, you know, we are either alone or we are sure we can open it, bash it open. I mean, that's a desperate move. Hello. Half Hogar City Dweller. I believe you have the wrong house, madam. Perhaps you'd better leave. Okay, sorry to bother you. What are you guarding? It's unlocked. I mean, that the door to it is locked, but the rest is unlocked. Hopefully we're gonna get some information from some NPC somewhere. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Who are you? My name is Joseph. I'm the stone cutter here in Tarrant. I make headstones and such, I see. And I have no interest in that. Apparently. I was uh, borderline a little rude there. Okay, so this whole area... This whole area here is done. Alright. Alright, we're getting someplace. Let's check those three buildings right here. Mm, the entrance. Oh. Let's check. I'm so sorry. Let's check the, the bin to the building. I need to find that guy that was anxious to get something from the sewer. I know there's the one who wants his ring, but there, there was a rumor. Because right now, that's all the fighting I can think of. 
Okay, what is this place? The Tarantian Water and Power Plant. Somehow I got a feeling, oh, it's open. I'm not going to talk to the guards just in case they decide to not let me in. We have more guards, more machines. <coughs> Greetings, sir. Might I ask who you are? Yes, of course. I'm Charles Dunstan, the manager of the Tyrantian Water and Power Plant. Nice to make your acquaintance. Yours as well, sir. Have you a moment? I really, you know, a lot of games, modern games, shall we say, they have voice acting and I feel quite a lot of the time that it would be better if they didn't. Arcanum, I wish. I wish they had uh, voice actors and probably, you know, a little over the top to do that exaggerated British accent and do a maybe a, a Scottish accent for the dwarves. I don't know. I think it would be quite funny. Or not, you know, you tell me. Aha! So, what do you do here? Here at the plant, oh, we regulate the power usage of the city and make sure that the sewage systems are running correctly. Tarrant is a technologically advanced city, madam, and it is a full-time job to keep everything running smoothly. And of course, there have been problems as of late with the old sewers. Well, as you can as you can well imagine, there's never been a more perfect place for vermin and evil creatures than the sewer system. Unfortunately, it's almost impossible to keep those vermin down in the sewer system once they've taken up residence. He shakes his head. There have been some fatalities. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Is it all sealed up? No, just the worst part. Some of the sewers are still open to the streets, although I would not recommend roaming around in those either. Creatures aren't the only things you'll find down there. I see. Is there any way I could get down into the old sewers? He sets his jaw firmly. And no. No one is allowed to go down there except with my permission. And I can tell you right now, no one is getting my permission. That's my final word on the matter. There's only one way down there and you'll have to get by me to use it. Oh, I don't want to kill you. I see, so there's no way to get down there except through here. No. As I've told you, to the best of my knowledge, we sealed up all of the entrances to the old sewers when I deemed it necessary. There might be another way in, but if there is, I don't know about it. Oh, I see. Well, then I suppose I'll run you through and go down there. No. Good day to you. I don't want, I mean, not unless I'm absolutely desperate, but there's got to be, there's got to be some, you know, decent way, non-murderous way to actually go into the old sewers. And at that point, I don't really know why I want to go to the old sewers. The guy's ring, I don't think, is in the old sewers. So we want to check this building. And then those two. We're getting there, guys. Soon we can do something different than talking to various people in Tarrant and hoping to fight rats to get that level up. And this is... Stand on Importers. A very, very elegant orc guard that's really guarding nothing at all. Thank you for your time. He doesn't even even uh, sorry, he doesn't even want to talk to me. And the door to this building is right there. <coughs> we do have quite a few quests though. Uh, there's the crystal ball, but I don't want to do that one. There's the wedding ring. Oh, there was a there was a rubbish bin. You are unlocked to Appleby residence. That's a house? Not not quite. I think we can uh, we can agree. That's locked. And you would be Appleby. Please don't bother me now. I'm pondering the complexity of my newest project. It is brilliant, if I do say so myself. Okay. It looks a little damaged, to be perfectly honest. And this is unlocked, so we could have a look. That is locked, though. 
And we are not quite the accomplished thief I would like to be. I mean, I would like my companion to be. Me personally, I'm no thief. But Virgil, Virgil. Come on, give me something. Something interesting. Something to kill, mostly. Panari Temple, that's good stuff. And we even have a Panari person who hopefully will be able to tell us something because Virgil was not exactly, you know, very, very helpful. In the name of Nasruddin, the Panari welcome you to our temple. How might I help you today, friend? What can you tell me about the Panari? The Panari Church is based on the teaching of Nasruddin, an elf who lived during the Age of Legend. As head of the Elven Council, Nasruddin acted as a guide for all of the races until the rise of Aronax and his evil followers. Nasruddin waged war and Aronax was defeated. The Panari Church was founded sometime after that. Okay. What is the age of legend? I think we're in for a lecture, guys. So if you don't have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, now is the time to grab one. Because this might take a while. Okay, age of legends. The age of legends was a time between 1500 and 2000 years ago. A time when magic was a much larger part of the world than it is today, before the mages left for Tula. You've never been to Tula. A time of dragons and knights and kingdoms. The time of the Elven Council. Elven Council. The Elven Council was a group of elves and mages who oversaw the well-being of all the races of Arcanum. They were ruled by Nasruddin, a wise and powerful elf who was head of the council for a thousand years. Nasruddin. He was the benevolent leader of the Elven Council. He kind of goes in circles a little bit, isn't he? For a thousand years, he ruled all of Arcanum and brought peace and prosperity to all of the races. His teachings are recorded in the sacred Archaean and are the cornerstone of the Panari beliefs. <clears throat> are there any professes that he will return? Let's try that, you know, as innocently as we can. Yes. It is called the Prophecy of the Living One. It is written in the Archean that one day both Nasruddin and Aranax will return to Arcanum and fight the final battle. And here for me to be dumb, I don't understand. Isn't Nasruddin dead? Yes, he's been dead for a long time. The literal meaning of the prophecy is unknown. Many believe that they will both be reincarnated or that the prophecy is a metaphor for something more contemporary. The truth is, we just don't know. Who's Aranax? Aranax was an evil elf who came into power during the Age of Legends. He believed that only he and his followers were fit to rule and decree death to all of the races. Nasruddin, in his mercy, came to our defense, and I quote from the Archean, defeated Aranax, banishing him forever to the void. Uh, what do you mean, vanish? What do you mean? What do you mean the void? But that's the nearest thing. We're not quite sure exactly what happens. No one is banished anymore. We believe that it took powerful magic to do so, and once banished, that person never returned. The void is a term used to describe where one goes when banished, but no one knows if it's even a real place. But the Archeon speaks of it, and so we believe. Has anyone else ever been banished? Fair, fair point. Yes, the Archeon speaks of other who suffered the same fate as Aranax. They are four who are listed by name. Gorgoth, Krakatur, Kurgan, and the Bane of Cree. They were all evil beings, but none were so evil as Aranax. If you ever see the Archean, you can read more about them. What is the Archean? It's a book. The sacred book of Nasruddin's teachings. It is housed in the first temple of the Panari in Caladon. You can see it there. Okay. Uh, no, we, we've been through. What do the Panari believe in? In me, they believe in me. 
The Panari Church is based on the teaching of Nazarene. La 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 la. Okay, we don't want more of that. General questions. Need of your service. Um, training in a heal. I don't know that yet. Can you heal me? What type of healing? And uh, never mind. <coughs> a pamphlet. Sure. Let's have a pamphlet. You never know. It could be. It could be good. Uh, I probably didn't have space for it, so I dropped a pamphlet on the floor. If uh, last episode running back and forth taught us anything about dropping things when the inventory is full. I'm not so eager to read the pamphlet and I got a feeling I should be able to get more um, versions of that pamphlet if I really really need them. Okay all of that done. So let's do these and then these and that will be it. Oh wow. I'm gonna start with those actually. I'm so so glad you have that sort of fast travel thing. Very nice, really. And yeah, gives me opportunity to have a drink. That looked like something I could loot. Then again. Ooh. We have three guards. Thieves. Oh. Let's make a good save. Hopefully they will attack me. <laughs> That's my hope right there. Just passing through. Good day to you then. Hmm. It's nice to make your acquaintance. They're awfully nice, aren't they? Alright, I think they're not gonna start fighting me just yet. Shame. I feel like we're missing a lot of pieces still. Jammed, jammed. What is it anyway? Quilt and band. Locked, locked. Fine. Okay. Someone to talk to, someone who actually lives there, a thief. Unlocked. If it's unlocked, they won't mind. Well, it's also empty. Not so surprising, I'll give you that. All right, let's talk, you thief. Companion, come closer just in case, thank you. Hey, what do you think you'll be doing then? Uh, thank you to leave my house. Pardon me, I was just looking for some work. I am. I am, but what sort of work can a thief give me? That's a rather rude attitude to have. I don't know, that's his house, so I'm not going to be high and mighty. Let's go with, pardon me. He looks you over as if he's deciding something. I don't happen to have any work. There's some reason you'd be here asking me about employment in particular. No, just looking to earn a day's wages. Well then, um, I don't know why you'd come around here asking me about work. Alright, perhaps I'll see you around. Okay, clearly I need to talk to someone else who will tell me to talk to this guy. Done that, we've done that. We have this block and this block, but... I got a feeling we're quite likely to find a lot of garbage in there. Not that I can carry a lot more garbage, but here's to hoping. <coughs> it's actually unlocked and it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. That's also unlocked. What do we have here? Nothing at all. And there was something here. Oh, that's a trader. Hmm. Uh, oh, can you identify something for me? Yes, I have this. But 
it cost a hundred coins. I I don't even have a hundred coins. So no. What do you have? Ooh. Magic robes. Yeah, let's forget about that. <laughs> Five thousand. Would you be interested in shoes? No. Bummer. A, a piece of con no. Mm, no. I'm gonna have to dump all of that. Clearly it's just nothing I can use. Um, well, thanks for nothing, lady. I mean, I'd love to, you know, get my hands on all of these. They look like interesting items, but for the time being, we're gonna make a nice save right there and uh, keep the last, last bit of exploration for the next session and, uh, and we'll be heading down in the sewers at last. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.